up everybody. A Nashville policeman shot this guy in the back as he was running away. He told him to how drop the gun while they was both running. So he took upon himself to fire his gun, shooting the suspect in the back Somewhere in the head, in the back of the head, in the back. And a lot of folks said, well, he had a gun and he didn't drop it. But I ain't mistaken, Tennessee law said you cannot shoot somebody in the back that's running away from you. There's no threat. Now, the threat would be if he'd have stopped and turned around and started shooting at him. But that didn't happen. So what training was he talking about that trained him to shoot somebody in the back that's running away? What Tennessee law that tells him to shoot somebody in the back as they running away? You can't even shoot somebody in the back if they break in your house, if they going out your house in the back. So what Tennessee law, what training, and who taught this to him that you can shoot somebody in the back as they running? If both of y'all running and he's in front of you, there's no way in the world he could turn around and shoot you as he's running. That's impossible to do. You cannot turn a gun if you're running away from, if somebody running away from you, they cannot turn the gun and try to hit you and shoot you however. That's impossible. But if he'd have stopped and turned around and pointed the gun at him, he could have had shot him. This policeman don't know his training. To me, you were just too lazy to chase. Maybe if you kept chasing him and he'd uh, probably would have turned around and started shooting, but he didn't do that. That's he saying uh, that, that scenario never happened. You shot him in the back as he was running. Yes, you should have been indicted on murder. Because, number one, they wouldn't have indicted you if you didn't do nothing wrong. If you were going by the law. I don't... I don't know about the drop the gun. Drop the gun as you running. I don't know what that scenario is. If you chasing somebody, if you're a policeman, you chasing somebody, and they got a gun, and they running away from you, and you tell them to drop the gun, and you shoot them, I don't know what law is that. I don't know how you can deem that being right if he never pointed the gun at you. This way it get conflicted at. The policeman attorney would say, well, he told him several times to drop the gun. If he running, how can he hear you? If he ahead of you, drop the gun, drop the gun. But he's running away from you so that it's no threat. Don't the threat is if he to stop and turn around and start shooting at you. That's the threat. So I'm not looking at it. That's a black and white thing. I'm not looking at it as a black and white thing. I'm looking at it as a law. You cannot shoot nobody in the back if they're running away from you. That's a law. It don't sound like a good law because it'll get, it'll get a lot of policemen acquitted, but that's a law.
I actually seen it. I actually seen something like this similar happen when a policeman was wrestling with this guy, and this guy got the best of him and took off running. He said, "Freeze before I shoot you," but he can't shoot him because he was running away. So you can't shoot somebody in the back that's running away from you. So you, so his attorneys go trying to tw twist this around where it looked like he was right, and we all know he was wrong from the article and what we read, and how they present how they, and how they presented this case. That's why he was indicted because he was wrong. Now it's up to the jury to finish it off, but sometimes we know how that goes. It wasn't no threat until he turned around and pointed the gun at you. He was just running. He would have kept on running. He probably, if he was ahead of you, he probably just, he probably would have ran out of sight. You wouldn't, even, you wouldn't have caught him. You wouldn't have caught him if you didn't have, if you wouldn't have shot him in the back. He would have got away if you would have shot him in the back. That's what it boiled down to. It was no threat. So let me know what y'all think about this article. About this Tennessee law. You can't shoot somebody in the back of, or somebody who knows the law. Leave your comments. Because I know I get a lot of negative comments. Well, he should have stopped running and all that. That's true. But you cannot shoot somebody in the back that's running away from you. It just don't sound right to me. If they don't point the gun at you and they running away. So let me know what you think about the video. Thanks.